Hi, I'm Jade and I work for KA Parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a six quart mixer from its original American 110 volts to work in Europe on a 230 volt supply. We'll be using a KV 25G mixer, but the same technique can be used for others. For a full list of models that can be converted, please visit our website. We will be using a Phillips PH2 screwdriver for the whole conversion. Take off all the removable parts such as the bolt and the beater. The parts we will be replacing are the motor, control board, power lead and also be adding a new RF filter. Remove the trim band from the head of the mixer. Use a PH2 screwdriver, undo the screw at the back of the mixer. Be careful not to bend the trim band as you are taking it off. Be aware that the trim band can spring off. Keep the screw safe, ready for when the mixer is put back together. There are two screws on each side of the mixer. Undo all four screws to allow the head to come off the mixer. Now put the head to one side. Now remove the two screws on the motor and the two screws on either side of the control board. The control board will now lift off the mixer. We can remove the connectors that attach to the power cable and the two connectors attached to the motor. We will also need to remove the hall sensor. We'll be putting the same hall sensor onto our new motor. To remove this, you'll need to press the clips down at the same time. Unscrew the four screws that attach the gear case. Gently pull up and the gear case should come away. Be aware of the grease in the gear case. The motor can now be pulled out carefully and we can now unscrew the earth screw. Unscrew the three screws left on the lower housing. Pull the power cord out. We will now put the mixer back together using the two 30 volt parts. Please put the 110 volt parts out of the way to prevent them from accidentally being reused. Here are the new 230 volt parts. Slot the new power cord into place. Place the lower housing back on the base and replace the three screws. We can now smear some of the existing grease over the end of the new motor, worm gear, shaft and bevel pin. Clip the hall sensor on top of the new motor and place in the mixer. Screw the motor down with two screws. Take the new control board and place it in the mixer and screw down with two screws. Then attach the hall sensor connector back to it. Put the gear case back on top of the worm gear, bevel pin and shaft. Tighten with two screws on the front. You'll put the back screws in later. You'll need to put your RF filter into the mixer. This will sit between the gearbox and the motor. You will see two holes either side of the RF filter where you can screw it in with the gearbox attached to the same screws.
On the new control board, you will see it has a brown and blue cable that you'll need to attach. Now you have replaced your power lead, you'll see that you can attach the cables from the RF filter to the power lead and attach the RF filter to the control board. You will also need to attach the cables from the motor onto the control board. We can now screw the earth cable back in from the power lead. We have now changed all the parts to 230 volts. Carefully place the head back on the mixer. Then screw the two screws on the head either side back in. Finally place the trim band back round the mixer and screw it back on. Next we'll plug the mixer in and test that it runs. If everything has gone well, the mixer should work flawlessly at all speeds. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it has helped you convert your mixer. If you'd like to purchase any of the parts you've seen, please visit our website www.kparts.co.uk.